Okay, second stage of the lamp shade project. I want to show you the stage. So this was the blank that I cut out last time. And you can see I drew a couple of lines along the curve. I simply took a, a six penny nail and a hammer and nailed those through. No big deal, right? Then I took this flat blank over to that crepe myrtle tree because nothing round in my garage seemed to work as well as that tree. I started off with a large branch, then a medium, ultimately to a small, and turned this into this. Pretty cool, huh? It's basically a cone. It should be much simpler than it is. <laughs> But it was very difficult. I'm going to show you what I did on the back. I uh, drilled pilot holes, took some rivets, and riveted along the seam. So pretty straightforward. Now, what I had to do, once, you, once I got this basic shape, bending the top along that smaller branch, or if you're using something else, that's fine more so than on the bottom for obvious reasons because we've got to turn that into that and it has to, it doesn't just simply you know you don't just simply bend it in a circle and it gets there you have to kind of work in my case i work from the top down once i got the two pieces close use my vice grips clamp that edge together that hold hold that held the shape so that i could kind of really fine tune it, go along, make sure the top was round, the bottom was round. Then I drilled each of the holes, took my rivets, and uh, put it together. I'm going to attempt to video the next step of this. We'll see what happens.